Hey friends, welcome back. I'm Thomas Schwabe of Light Metaphors and I just want to thank you for tuning in and today I'm going to invite you into this uh, project I'm doing um, uh, where I'll be uh, um, airbrushing this uh, peacock which you see um, uh, on my left just uh, nodding up and down. You know, God is a God of creativity. He's the artist of artisans. And I'm reminded of a, um, a statement, a phrase that Larry Randolph uh, shared years ago that just uh, always stuck with me and it, ha it rings so true. Um, uh, and that is uh, where you find a lack of creativity, there the religious spirit breeds. And you know, in other words, an environment where there's no creativity allowed to occur or happen where uh, there, everything is done um, by rote. Everything is done uh, where it's, everything's predictable. Um, you know, religion becomes very stale, like a mold. Uh, and one time I, I was reminded one time that um, I was thinking about like a, a mold. When you get locked into a mold, everything's, uh, you know, the same. It's just a mold. You, you, what you pour in uh, comes out the same. It's always the same thing because it's a mold. And as I was thinking about that, I also was thinking about how mold, a mold like a fungus, it oftentimes develops and grows in the dark. And, you know, the religious spirit wants us to be stuck in a mold. He wants us to, uh, the religious system, a religious spirit wants to mold us, put us in a mold and, um, and allow darkness to operate. And, uh, and as Larry said, uh, a, a breed where you find the religious spirit or where you find a lack of creativity there, the religious spirit breeds. And I just want to encourage you just to uh, mirror what, the, uh, what God created you to mirror. That is his image and likeness. And, 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 uh, and he is, cre he is the, the father of, of artists. He's the father of creativity. Creativity stems from him. In the beginning in Genesis, God said, let us make man in our image and in our likeness you know he said us so when we engage in a creativity it's it's all about like a as as christians as as his sons and daughters it's all about uh engaging in in union with him and allowing uh the creative breath to blow into us inspiration to flow into us creative ideas visions and and pictures and images that we can begin to uh, lay hold of and begin to express, whether it's in a writing, a poem, or dancing, or, or um, painting, or poetry. Um, again, uh, um, miming. We have a whole spectrum of expression that God wants to just breathe and bring forth fresh things that reveal His, his uh, nature, reveal His character, reveal who He is. And it's through the spirit of creativity that we engage in this in union with the Lord, Holy Spirit, that we can engage and begin to bring forth uh, this. Again, I'm going to be airbrushing uh, uh, this peacock on my left um, that uh, a friend of mine owns that uh, she wants me to paint. And I just want to be able to uh, uh, paint colors like the colors of a, add colors to it, uh, the colors of a peacock using various uh, colored paints, uh, airbrush paints. So, you know, as Larry Randolph said, as I quoted earlier, where there is a lack of creativity, there you will find, or there the religious spirit breeds. Friends, let's stay in an atmosphere where God is breathing fresh ideas, inspiration, and creativity in us so that we don't uh, get caught in uh, uh, the spirit of religion, a religious spirit that brings death. God bless you. Thanks for tuning in to Light Metaphors. Hey, so we're going to start with this uh, color. Um, it's pearl blue. You know, I'm trying to uh, grasp some of the natural colors of a peacock. So this is a paint by Create Tex. Um, it's an airbrush paint. It's pearl blue. So then I'm going to start by uh, painting the the body, the neck and the head of the peacock and with this pearl blue and then I'll go into other colors.
Here's that pearl blue. I'm gonna just start by filling in Uh, this paint just really sticks good. It really. You now, blue is one of my favorite colors. You now, the meaning, spiritual meanings of blue represents like communion and revelation. I learned that from John Paul Jackson. Communion and revelation. It's the color of. Uh, for communion and revelation. So you can see here that I uh, taped off areas so that I don't get the paint on those areas. You know, I just, I covered it up so I don't get paint on there. In the areas that I don't want the paint on. So yeah, this paint is laying on there pretty good. Here's a close-up of uh, the color. Really like this pearl blue. You can see how much, you may be able to see how much overspray is happening on this, uh, where I taped it off while I'm painting. It, it sprays and it's overspray, we call it. Some, that's like the enemy, overspray. That's why it's important to, it's really important to cover off areas that you don't want overspray on because then you get the paint on areas you don't want it on. In this baby around this side. Now sometimes when you're airbrushing, well often it will happen. The tip of your airbrush will build up, uh, ink will start to build up on the tip, the needle tip, and you gotta clean that off to rub that off because it affects the, the flow of the ink. So you just gotta like pull that t tip, uh, that ink off the tip. And I'm using an Iwata Eclipse. It's kind of like the workhorse of uh, t-shirts and you can use it on a canvas as well but it's it's uh it's like the workhorse airbrush the eclipse hp bcs really love it i, I own a few of these and over the years and it's really fun using this especially on fabric and t-shirts get around to this side now Get that neck drumstick of the peacock. <laughs>
So I'm gonna touch up, uh, or decided to touch up this eyeball, both eyeballs, with a small paintbrush. I've been touching it up. Um, let's move this light over here. You can see a little bit better. I can get some fairly crispy lines with this nice little air, uh, paintbrush. So, I hand painted the eyeball with the, like a reddish brown, and I'm gonna go next for the pupil. I'm gonna do the pupil. Again, I'm gonna use an, a small paintbrush. right there. Go for the black. All right, so I uh, did some more touch up on the head using a paintbrush. You can see the white here. And then I uh, hi put some highlights in the pupil, so it gives it some of that three-dimensional look. And so I'm gonna just begin to touch it up again now with the airbrush. Kind of uh, bring some shadow to it. So this is the next step. Adding a little bit of highlights down the way. So what I'm going to do right now is I cut out another stencil on this masking tape and I put it over the eyeball and I'm going to use that to fill in like a highlight around the eyeball so it gives you that you know reflection on the eye, that highlight on the eye but also reveals like the three dimensionalness of the eyeball, the, that spherical shape so let's go on with that next this is where I'm gonna really want to do a very light fill I believe is good enough. Let's see. Yep. Okay, now I'm gonna touch up uh, this side of the eyeball with some highlights. Very little bit of highlight. 
Just a small, small tap tap. under the eye like uh, part of the eyelid turn it to the other side same thing on this side a little bit of highlights in the corner I'm about ready to paint the inner parts of the feather. I'm gonna go with some light blue. Um, I cut out everything I needed to cut out uh, in the stencil. So here we go for this next part. So I've been working on the inner parts of the feather with uh, deep blue. I'm using um, Create Text Paints right here. I'm using a deep blue to fill in these uh, this deep blue section right here, and I'm gonna be doing it with my uh, paintbrush, just hand doing it. Forget how relaxing and fun it is also to do, to paint with the brush. So I'm just touching it up with the deep, this color is called Deep Wicked Blue by Create Text Wicked Colors. That's the brand of the paint, Create Text. It's an all-purpose paint. You can paint on clothing. This ink is a ink that can be used on clothing, on steel, on all kinds of surfaces. That's multi-surface, multi, multi uh, all-purpose, multi-purpose paint. So I've been uh, painting the inside of the the feather, the the third color, which is a gold, like a pearl gold. 
it's that outer uh, section of the oval, if you will. Uh, you have the dark blue that I, I did hand painted and, and then I did the light blue around the dark blue and then finally I, I was working on the, the uh, outer uh, color which was a pearl gold. Um, and I, I filled that up, started hand painting it and then I touched up with the airbrush. And you can see uh, that I still have the stencil um, on the outside of the, the oval uh, where the gold was painted. And um, that'll be my last color outside uh, that gold oval. I'm gonna be pulling the stencil paper off and then I'll be touching that area up with a, uh, with a metallic, like pearl metallic gold, that, that peacock type uh, color. So yeah, it's been a, pretty cool process just doing these three different colors so you'll see that uh, in the next stage of the painting hey friends so welcome back to the peacock project I've been on it for a while and um, you know it's getting along been working on the feathers still and the most recent work I was doing is uh, filling in the uh, third layer of the peacock feathers you can see like you have the dark blue right here. Then you have this light blue circle around there. Then you have the gold, which is in like an oval. So all this gold oval area, I painted in uh, first by hand with the paintbrush. I like using the paintbrush. It's been uh, pretty cool being able to use a combination of the paintbrush as well as the airbrush. And then I touched up with the, uh, with the airbrush. So it's getting along. You can take a, a look at it. Uh, give a closer look at it at uh, how it uh, how it's coming out um, take a look at it Okay, now we're going on to the touching up with some brown, some dark brown. I'm going to be going around the tips here, like each tip. We got a tip of the here, that tip, that tip. So I'm going on to touch those up with light, with the dark brown. Hey, welcome back friends. Thanks for joining me in this process of uh, painting the peacock. So I've been uh, doing step by step, uh, working step by step on it and now I'm uh, in my last uh, section you saw me painting the, the oval shapes in the feathers with like a gold uh, paint. And, and I started now, I took all the stencil paper off. So you can see here, this is some of the stencil paper. Um, that I had around the feathers. I took all of them off the feathers uh, that I had them taped onto. Now I'm working with the green, the metallic uh, peacock green. That's this color right here. It's a peacock green. So this is a I'm pretty, um, pretty close to finishing. So I'm, I'm just going to touch that up. I'm touching it up with the brush, uh, paintbrush and um, and then I'll probably do a little bit of airbrushing again on it. But right now I'm doing that uh, along these feathers. So I'm working on it, just filling it in and giving it a couple of brush strokes to give it like the feathery look. So yeah, take a uh, closer look and you'll see what it looks like.
Again, this is the painting on the peacock. Uh, it's a project I'm doing for a, me a friend of mine um, who had an incredible dream um, regarding a uh, peacock. And it was a pretty incredible, uh, intense dream. It just revealed a lot of the, the coming of, uh, of the glory of God being displayed in such a way that's just going to be a, a sign and a wonder to people. So yeah, I'm just continuing on, on with the uh, metallic green, the pea, peacock green paint, and I'm hand painting that and uh, just getting along. Should be close to done soon. Hey friends, thanks again for uh, joining me um, in this process of painting the peacock. I had a really uh, fun time uh, in each step and throughout the process, uh, and it's come to a conclusion here. And, I finally finished it off and I'm um, ready to uh, send it to its uh, owner and I think she'll be blessed to uh, get it back in this condition it's in and so it, it was a, a blessing to, that process to go through and um, I just want to encourage you you know um, that uh, the creativity that is in you is God given and and we're created in his image and likeness you know God is the artist of all artisans and even if you don't think you're an artist, you're co you're creating with uh, with that ability within you, and God's called us to co-create with Him, and in that place of relationship and intimacy with Him, we can bring forth incredible things. You know that's the key, as He said in the beginning in Genesis, "Let us make man in our image and in our likeness." He said, "Us." Uh, and it's speaking about a, a, a union, a unity, a working together, an intimacy uh, together. And it's out of that place of intimacy that we bring forth things that are uh, have the touch of God on it, have the, the voice of God, have the resonance of God, uh, His nature and uh, in, uh, upon it. And it speaks, you know, all creation declares the glory of God. And guess what? We know that all creation was created by the word of His mouth. And when He said, let us make man in our image and likeness he made it uh, made man for intimacy for relationship so may god bless you in your relationship and may you grow deep in the father's love and the and the fellowship with the spirit of creativity the holy spirit dwelling within you all and thanks again for joining me in this process and doing this lovely uh, piece of work that i enjoy doing this peacock this lovely peacock and, uh, you know, um, may God uh, work in your lives to bring forth uh, creative arts, uh, creative uh, artistic pieces that will reflect um, uh, the beauty of God. God bless you. Thanks for joining me. I'm Thomas Schwabe of Light Metaphors. Have a great day.